It's free from the marketing pressures and the pressures of the studio system. And I think a film like ours, which is called Meru, really emblem like it's emblematic of what independent cinema should be. I mean, this was like a shoestring budget made with heart and because we believed passionately in the project. It was the personal story of Jimmy and Jenny. And I don't know, it's been a it's been a very affirming for the idea of independent cinema to see a film like Meru succeed, where audiences chose to go out to theaters and watch it. We didn't have this big marketing muscle behind it, but word of mouth and positive reviews really carried us the whole way. It was really uh, just, you know, me documenting the expeditions that I was on um, with my friend Renan and Conrad, and Renan filmed as well, and it was just... Uh, it was really just to tell a story about friendship and, and loyalty and mentorship. It was about my mentor and a great hero of mine. Uh, and I, it was really almost for posterity, just for, for my own records. And then um, eventually, as we filmed more and more and more, uh, I saw this story develop and, you know, we made it into a film. But we really didn't... You know, I didn't start out to make a feature documentary, which was interesting, and uh, it was just about it was about filmmaking, you know, and and shooting and telling a story. So it came from a very independent spot, you know. Yeah. But personal in that they are the subjects of the film, filming themselves as they pursue this personal dream of climbing this mountain. 